good so-and-so. Well, he grabbed forty dollars and he took out the door. He went down the street to his favorite liquor store. He put a nine on the clerk and said, open that drawer. Well, the clerk done hit the silent alarm. The cop came and took him in by the arm. He wound up sitting in the federal camp. Out in ten years to do it all again. Charlie was a no-good man. He woke up doing the worst that he can. Charlie was a no-good man. Told him how to get relieved Talking about Jesus with the Jesus freaks Sunday morning he flew out the door When he got him with him junkies and uptown horse People don't mind if you bother no one But if you're breaking in home You're gonna get the gun Gather around boys i tell you a tale about a no good man Who spent his life in jail Charlie was a no good man He woke up doing the worst that he can Charlie was a no good man Chances to get it right. It stops stealing the car in the middle of the night. Instead of spending time taking what you need, shooting that dope and smoking that speed. Well, he went downtown for a little 40 rock. He's sitting in a jail watching the clock. He went downtown for a little 40 rock. And now he's sitting in a jail cell watching the clock. Charlie was a no good man. He woke up doing the worst that he can. Charlie was a no good man. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. What's that? Working right now. What's that? What? Titty and the root beer. Yeah, that's coming up. Yeah. Uh, the gentleman informed me that if you have a gold Toyota with license. A vanity license plate that says, uh, I'm, I'm just making this up. He didn't really say that. Your headlights are on. No, I'm kidding. You ever been on the ferry in, in Washington there when someone's car alarm goes off? And the, the, one time the guy said, in the history of the Washington State Ferry, no car has ever been stolen off the ferry. So you, you know, the alarm <laughs> thought that was pretty good. So... My mission in life, I have a, several, but one of my missions in life is to somehow tap into the intercom system on the ferry, because I have, I would, I would like to just have about 17 seconds, maybe only, maybe only three seconds on there, because I would like to be able to get on there and say, welcome to the Washington State Ferry, this is your captain speaking, and I'd just like to inform you that we're going down! <laughs> just to see what would happen. I don't think anyone would respond. They're all in line trying to get to the coffee creamer and stuff like that. I have no interest in that. Anyway, it would be really funny for one guy. But here's my other thing. Has anyone ever got any of those letters in their baggage from the TSA? You know, those little things? I'm sure I have one right here. Here's two. Oh, here. So uh, I'm trying to figure out things to do with these. I use them for set lists and make things out of them, trying to find things with them to do, and uh, what I'm trying to do is collect about 6,000 of them eventually. I'm working my way towards this. 
And uh, what I want to do is spring load them in my banjo case. With a, with, with a nine volt battery with a real short wire on it where they have to look. And they open the case and they fly out. Then I can go ahead and the lightning can strike me and I can go ahead and get bugled off to glory because my purpose here on earth is fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs>